Now, I thought it was going to bounce off. It looked like it maybe bounced off the grass, but it just went horizontal briefly, and then it goes into the grass. I think there's another one that comes in and joins it. A show about everything. You are on the air. Oh, hello. How's everyone doing? Pretty good. Who do we have calling? This is uh, Jim. Jim, good to have you here. Um, what do you think of what you're looking at? Well, I watched the previous show, and I was wondering, I don't know if you mentioned this, because I just, I just logged on to the computer right now. Does the golden ratio apply to any of these crop circles? Oh, definitely. I mean, like, particularly uh, uh, <laughs> that Zeppelin album comes to mind. I mean, most of the crop circles are doing geometry that whose designers already use the golden ratio. So when you see certain mandala shapes, it's already been vetted in a sense. Like the golden ratio is already built into like a five-pointed star or certain pentagon, pentagram shape, penny, um, you know, the <laughs> we'll have to color the platonic solids in it so I can get brushed up on that. But um, go ahead, Jim. Well, you know, I, I was looking at these crop circles and that's what uh, came to mind. The design seemed to seem to be uh, quite artistic and pleasing. Now, 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 Jim, check this out. I put, I zoomed in on it, and look at the little trail of material or dots that it leaves behind. I, I, I would love some expert on video engineering to call me and say that happens on, that. tell me that that's normal, okay? Because as Francisco goes to the next clip, Jim, what do you think of this? Because this is from last week. This is Apollo 3 unmanned. Look at that thing moving in, moving around. This is an orb in orbit. Let's zoom in on it. Why is that making multiple dots? Because that's film, all right? Yeah. This is from 16 millimeter movie film. It shouldn't be leaving trails of dots. In the same footage here, the next thing, upper right. Again, we showed this last week, but I want to emphasize this feature of it, the trailing dots, because I just want to, <laughs> I would love someone to, to call and say, that, that's an explainable thing. And it happens in space, it happens on land, and it happens at the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico. See that thing moving by? What, what, these things are in a dimension other than the, the main dimensions that we... Well, expect. this... this they, we, it may be that just an echo. That could very well be some type of quantum effect. Now, again, we're showing some... Uh, list. Could you uh, repeat that one, Francisco, the, uh, the BP one? Just again, this is under the water, and these little fish things are moving by. And are they leaving bubbles or are pieces of themselves? Because those little pieces of themselves seem to float there for a little while, for like a few frames extra. And I just, this is all through the footage, and uh, just want, I think if we find the answer to this, it'll make sense. And it's either a strange video glitch that occurs all the time, or you're, you're possibly onto something, Jim, that this is some alternative type of entity that obviously has been around for a while because it's single, it's, it's a single cell, possibly. <laughs> a single infrared cell. Um, what do we got next? Jim, are you still there? Yes. You're seeing behind me, this is Apollo 14. They're just they're tracking, there, yeah. that's, that's not their lunar module. This is just something they were tracking. Can we run it again, please? And they, they were looking out their window. They're picking it up in the glare on the upper left. And it will emerge. There it is. And they're gaining on it. I zoomed in on this particular part. And I'm not saying there's a trail behind that one, but I was looking for it. Um, that's just, that's not the lunar module. That's uh, some other vehicle. <laughs> it's not one of ours. Uh, speaking of the only other person at the time who had rocketry was the CCCP. Oh, before we do that, um, let's, can we just look at quickly the, oh, did we get that one on here? Oh, I didn't get it. The Russian, uh, the, the cabin I got an orb for next week. I have an orb floating in the background of Yuri Gagarin's first spacewalk footage. Although it's all scratched, it still shows up as a thing floating out there. Um, again, we're seeing this. I love that, that angle. Look at how it just comes down, zooming, stops, actually disappears for a second, and then zooms up. Like, what is going on? 
And uh, again, this is the in that's the inside of the final stage known as the S-4B. This was a Saturn 1B rocket, Saturn uh, Apollo 3 test uh, or uh, suborbital test of the hardware back in 67, I think. Uh, what do we have next, Francisco? ISS Spacewalk. This is last year. Do we have some vo a voice on this, please? Um, this this is nice. This we're looking we're looking at the International Space Station's camera from last summer, and they uh, I think they're going to be talking about these things shortly. Usually it takes them a while. Usually it takes them a while to think about what to say, unless there's no sound on it. But um, there's also a ring you're going to see. A pulsating ring goes by in the upper right, very similar to the ring we saw last week on the space station footage. It was like a smoke ring, the so-called washer incident. Um, so we're seeing a pattern of these morphing dots and ring shapes. We seem to have a caller. Let's see if I can manage this. A show about everything. Oh, that's a different number. I don't think we can get that one. Oh, should I do it? Hello, you're live on the air. Hi, this is Victoria. I'm calling from Survey RC. I have an important message for you. Please oh, keep so the line. I'm transferring you now. Excellent. I pre what was your What was your question? Uh, well, this is now the, okay, what are we looking at here? No voice on that? I thought we had the discussion the astronauts were having. We may have to bail on this particular one, but this is uh, just some more anomalous objects floating around on their own and what people need to realize is that debris doesn't do that uh, any so-called space debris or junk or particulate matter spreads out from the source of its expulsion right and it doesn't hang around doesn't go out and stop and linger and uh, you're going to see the, the circular orb thing in the upper right just below that NASA logo right there it's just okay, it looks like a ghost orb, but that's an outer space. What's going on? See the ringed thing? It's a pulsating ring. It's not dust. We don't know what it is. Or no one's willing to say. NASA is clearly not willing to talk about it. Rotate 108 degrees. Last year also, degrees. six Something months ago. There. We need to understand what it is. What is flying? Well, it's flying away from the station, so we're trying to understand what exactly that is. There is an object that is flying away. Is it a big one? And we cannot see an object. We, well, rotate more, rotate more. My controllers in Russia talking with the spacewalkers about this object that they uh, seem to have drop the team on the ground looking trying to decide what that might be and what is it okay. determine where it came from Misha, when you have finished translating, look at the connectors. Are the connectors uh, properly installed? Yes, will do. Make sure that the guide wire, guide wire is all right. Yes, inaudible. Let me see. Let me grab the big one first. Yes, it seems to be everything is all right. Everything is in place. All right, very good. We copy. And um, there is one connector that. You know, to me, this looks more like a plasma. 
It's not a piece of cloth. They, they, this is the thing that they said last year, look like, kind of like a piece of cloth. But it, it's clearly, clearly not. It doesn't look like it's part of a spacecraft. And, and again, objects in space don't travel the distance away from you and stop. It's just not happening. And um, as we listen to the conversation there, clearly there's a protocol and not everyone's in on it. The, the translator, you could hear him, uh, he was translating someone's words who wanted to know you might have dropped something. And, and the astronauts had no interest in determining what had been dropped. And then we hear the translator saying, it's all right, it's all right, like, let it go. Like, you haven't been briefed. We don't talk about stuff like that unless you know it's your glove floating away. Uh, just let it go because it's everywhere. And that's um, just what I want to see how, how, you, how our viewers think of that. I mean, this is genuine footage and these astronauts are out there dealing with a phenomenon that they know, possibly know nothing about other than that it's everywhere in space where they are. And, uh, you know, in the past we've shown you footage of the interior of the lunar module filled with these bizarre things. Here we're having, uh, this is the, again the International Space Station, a source of a lot of anomalous activity. You can see these little sparkly white things there again. And the ring, another smoke ring coming by, which this lady from Houston calls a washer. And you can just hear, there's a protocol in place. We are not to ever really get excited or talk about anything. Houston, zero, zero, inaudible. Yes, Houston, zero, zero, Okay, um, uh, yes, and actually, there is a word, right? Can you mute that, please? Uh, so let's just proceed. Okay, you, um, if you look where that sparkly stuff had been, on the lower right, of just above that flat plane area, there, there's a sparkly thing. We're going to zoom in on that here again, because I want you people to see what is sitting in there. You see that thing moving? There's a sh dark shadow moving around? Like, must be an astronaut hanging out, right? That's why the camera is, is, is interested. Well, it's going to follow the ring. But um, this is just pretty weird. And, uh, you know, again, if we, if we turn up the Houston, if we hear their voices, they're calling this a washer. The, as far as this little circular. Team here on the ground, uh, moving the cameras there it goes. to you follow. Right there goes. Um, another object that seems to have floated away. A small. It seems to have floated round away. Round object that you can see in the middle of the screen here. Taking a look, trying to decide what uh, that trying might be. Trying to decide what to tell the people. a washer or something similar. Yeah, similar. It's a silver dollar is floating in space. You know, come on. It's not even rotating. It's blinking. Okay. It's pulsating. What the hell is that? Hello, NASA. We we're trying to figure out stuff up there. And she sounds like she's on NPR. Thank you for calling NPR. This is a show about everything, and we haven't even begun yet. Well, I, I'm more interested in that plasma creature that was hiding behind that. If we, is there any way to skip ahead, like, 10 seconds? Oh, here we go. Behind me here, this little critter. This is very slowed down, unfortunately, but there shouldn't be any movement in there. Uh, it's very slow. It looks like Popeye. Wait a minute. If you people have, please have the patience, you're going to see this a little bit of a shape shifting. See? What is the object? Ooh, little sparks. Now, this is the approach of the ring from below. You're going to see that, that, wa that lady's washer come in. There's the, there's the thing, for lack of a better word. Kind of looks like a, a, a bald guy looking to the left. Or he's but Maybe it is a workman up there on the shuttle, but it's morphing. See, it's, it, uh, it seems to be energetic. It's, it's, <laughs> it's got the lights that we look for. I'd love to see those blinking lights. It's a sign of intelligence. And the multiples. We've seen that before, haven't we? Those multiple dots. I'm not saying this is going to make a crop circle, and I'm not saying this thing is at, at the bottom of the Gulf of, Mex of Mexico. I'm just saying that the weirdest stuff in the world seems to be kind of similar. And I'm just pointing it out, and I love people's responses. The phones are a little quiet, and we're not asking for any donations other than your time and your part of your ideas. But we won't, well, I shouldn't say that. We just want uh, your opinion. We don't want to market your ideas or take them from you, <coughs> unless you want to share them. But anyway, this is just a thing, a plasma thing, 
And here comes the ring. Passing.